I am here to, strong, to ask you to strongly support House Bill 1687, an act requiring healthcare employers to develop and implement programs to prevent workplace violence. Every day, patients and healthcare providers are increasingly put at risk by workplace violence. A hospital should be a place where patients go to heal and nurses and other healthcare professionals provide care in a safe environment. Unfortunately, hospitals are growing increasingly violent for both employees and patients. Violence in healthcare settings is on the rise, and acts of violence against healthcare workers occur at a rate five times greater than the average worker in our country. A 2009 report by the International Council on Nursing found that nurses and nurses' aides are assaulted more than police officers and prison guards. A 2010 report by the Emergency Nurses Association found that nearly 60% of emergency room nurses reported being assaulted on the job, and nearly a third of those surveyed were considering leaving their jobs because of the increased violence. A 2015 Center for Disease Control report found that injuries associated with workplace violence increased overall from 2012 to 2014 and nearly doubled for nurses and nursing assistants. The report that goes on recommend that hospitals create injury prevention interventions mitigating high-risk aspects of nurse and nurse assistant duties, adding that targeting prevention strategies can protect the healthcare personnel. This bill does just that by requiring healthcare employers to perform annual risk assessments and identify factors which may put employees at risk for workplace violence. It requires hospitals to look at factors like working hours, public access to the area, working in high crime areas, staffing levels, and other factors that affect safety. Hospitals would then need to develop a written violence prevention plan that puts measures in place to minimize those risks. The bill also requires the creation of an in-house crisis response team to support victims of workplace violence. This is extremely important because in addition to physical injuries, victims often suffer emotional trauma and anxiety associated with returning to work. You will hear from nurses who have experienced that here with me today. We know that implementing this type of plan works to reduce violence because it already has worked at one Massachusetts hospital. Over the past decade, Brockton Hospital had become an increasingly violent place to work. In one year alone, there were over 1,000 911 calls placed from inside Brockton Hospital. In desperation, nurses picketed the hospital to protest violent, unsafe working conditions. They also contacted the Occupational Safety and Health Administration, OSHA. And in July of 2007, OSHA issued a report verifying the unsafe conditions. The hospital administration then began to work with nurses to identify risks that might lead to, a, to violence in the facility. They implemented a new employee training program, identified high-risk areas, and redesigned the facility's security plan. In other words, Brockton Hospital took exactly the steps that House Bill 1687 would require. In the three-year period following this implementation, Internal calls to 911 dropped nearly 90%. Nurses should not have to go to this length to get their hospitals to take steps to prevent violence and to ensure a safe environment. At too many of our healthcare facilities, this work is not being done, and too many nurses and patients are being placed in jeopardy and harm due to this lack of responsible action. A good step was taken by the legislature five years ago to protect healthcare workers when an act relative to assault and battery on healthcare providers was signed into law, enhancing the penalties against anyone who assaults a nurse while he or she is providing healthcare. Now we must take this next step in protecting nurses, putting a plan into place that will prevent violence in our hospitals. I strongly encourage the Committee on Labor and Workforce Development to support this legislation and to help ensure that hospitals are a place of healing and peace, not violence. Thank you very much for your time.